This video will cover questions regarding the topic of optimization problems, maximum triangle. Here is an isosceles triangle inscribed in a circle. This is the center of the circle. This line passes through the center of the circle, then bisects the base. So this one and this one are the same. The radius is 8. Let's say x and a. Using the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus x squared equals 8 squared. Then a squared equals 64 minus x squared. Then a equals plus minus the square root of 64 minus x squared. But a is positive. Then a is square root of 64 minus x squared, where x is positive, but less than the radius, which is 8. The area of the triangle is base times height divided by 2, then a of x equals, base is 2a times height is 8 plus x over 2, then 2 times a equals square root of 64 minus x squared times 8 plus x over 2. Then we can rewrite as square root of 64 minus x squared times 8 plus x. Then a prime of x equals square root of 64 minus x squared prime times 8 plus x plus the square root of 64 minus x squared times 8 plus x prime. d dx of square root of x equals 1 over 2 square root of x. Then d dx of square root of u equals, using the chain rule, 1 over 2 square root of u times u prime. Then back to the original. 1 over 2 square root of 64 minus x squared times 64 minus x squared prime times 8 plus x plus square root of 64 minus x squared times 1. 64 minus x squared prime is minus 2x times 8 plus x over 2 square root of 64 minus x squared plus the square root of 64 minus x squared. 2 is cancelled. Then minus x times 8 plus x over square root of 64 minus x squared plus square root of 64 minus x squared. We have to make a single fraction, so we need square root of 64 minus x squared over square root of 64 minus x squared, then expand minus 8x minus x squared over square root of 64 minus x squared plus, combine together, 64 minus x squared over square root of 64 minus x squared equals minus x squared minus x squared minus 2x squared minus 8x plus 64 over square root of 64 minus x squared. To find the critical numbers, we equate the derivative to 0, then minus 2x squared minus 8x plus 64 equals 0, take out minus 2, then x squared plus 4x minus 32 equals 0. Then we can factor x plus 8, x minus 4 equals 0. That means x equals minus 8 or 4. Or the derivative does not exist. That means this one equals 0. Then 64 minus x squared equals 0. That means x squared equals 64. Then x equals plus minus 8. 
But x is between 0 and 8. Then now x equals 4. The number lines here between 0 and 8, a prime of x, 4 is here. When the testing number is 1, the denominator of a prime is always positive, so we check the numerator only. Then minus 2 times 1 squared minus 8 times 1 plus 64 equals 70, which is positive. When the testing number is 5, then minus 2 times 5 squared minus 8 times 5 plus 64 equals minus 26, which is negative. A prime changes from increasing to decreasing at x equals 4. Now we modify that x equals 4 gives an absolute maximum value of a. a of x is this one. Then a of 4 equals square root of 64 minus 4 squared times 8 plus 4. Then square root of 64 minus 16 is 48 times 8 plus 4 is 12. We can rewrite as 4 square root of 3 times 12. That means 48 square root of 3 square unit. This is the second and last question. Here is a right triangle with a hypotenuse of 4 centimeters. Let's say x and y. Where x is between 0 and 4, using the Pythagorean theorem, x squared plus y squared equals 4 third, then y squared equals 16 minus x squared, then y equals square root of 16 minus x squared, because y is positive. A of x equals 1 over 2 times base times height. We can rewrite as 1 over 2 times x times y is square root of 16 minus x squared. Then a prime of x equals 1 over 2x prime times square root of 16 minus x squared plus 1 over 2x times square root of 16 minus x squared prime equals 1 over 2x prime is 1 over 2 then times square root of 16 minus x squared plus 1 over 2x times d dx of square root of x equals 1 over 2 square root of x then using the chain rule d dx of square root of u equals 1 over 2 square root of u times u prime. Then back to the original, 1 over 2 square root of 16 minus x squared times 16 minus x squared prime equals square root of 16 minus x squared over 2 plus 1 over 2x times 1 over 2 square root of 16 minus x squared times 16 minus x squared prime is minus 2x. Then square root of 16 minus x squared over 2. 2 is cancelled. Then minus x squared over 2 square root of 16 minus x squared. We have to make a single fraction. Then we need square root of 16 minus x squared over square root of 16 minus x squared. Then we can rewrite as 16 minus x squared over 2 square root of 16 minus x squared minus x squared over 2 square root of 16 minus x squared. Then we can rewrite as 16 minus 2x squared over 2 square root of 16 minus x squared. Then divide by 2 on each side. 
8 minus x squared over square root of 16 minus x squared. To find the critical numbers, we equate the derivative to 0. That means x squared equals 8. x equals plus minus square root of 8. We can rewrite as plus minus 2 square root of 2. Or, derivative does not exist. That means 16 minus x squared equals 0, x squared equals 16, then x equals plus minus 4. But x equals between 0 and 4, then x equals 2 square root of 2. The number line is here, between 0 and 4, 2 square root of 2, a prime of x, when the testing number is 1, the denominator is always positive, so we check the numerator only. 8 minus 1 squared equals 7, which is positive. When the testing number is 3, 8 minus 3 squared, which is minus 1, is negative. A prime changes from increasing to decreasing at x equals 2 square root of 2. Now we verify that x equals 2 square root of 2 gives an absolute maximum value of a. a of x is here. Then a of 2 square root of 2 equals 1 over 2 times 2 square root of 2 times square root of 16 minus 2 square root of 2 squared equals 2 is cancelled. Square root of 2 times square root of 16 minus 8. Then square root of 2 times square root of 8, which is square root of 16, equals 4. The maximum area is 4 cm squared. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.